What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Cricket 19 T20 Veterans League 2021. Today we have game number uh, 13 in round four, the first game in round four. And it's between Wellington Firebirds and Lancashire Lightning. Wellington Firebirds uh, is coached by Putov. And Lancashire, coach by Luke. Both will be in the comments down below. If you want to participate like they did, become a channel member. That's the shortest way. And follow me on my social media site, uh, accounts as well. Any of them, they'll be on your screen. And uh, yeah, I'll pick you randomly if I do another one, that is. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Do not forget to drop a like and that subscribe button. If you're not familiar with the rules of the league, check out the um, draft video. Click on the eye icon in the top right corner and it'll take you to the draft video. Or you can check the description out as well. I put a little summary there of the league rules as well. But uh, yeah, let's jump into the game. All right, here we go. Ranjif Gandhi International Stadium. Wellington Firebirds versus uh, Lancashire Lightning. There are the two lineups. Like I said, if you're unfamiliar with the rules and how the lineups were selected, Check out the description box below or click on the eye icon in the top right corner. I'll take it to the draft video. Don't ask me what kind of accent that is because I have no clue. We've got two uh, skippers out there in the middle. David Warner and Virat Kohli. Suchin Tindolkar. All right, here we go. So, Davey has won the toss. Chosen to have a ball for Shigar Levin to face the first delivery from Dale Stain, the Stain gun. We'll be bowling the first delivery. Yes. And we've got a little Lindo Park partnership going on here. Love to see it. Shake it at one end, Hafiz at the other. Oh, he spanked that one away. Hafiz showing no respect to the legend that is Dale Stane. <laughs> He's not too happy, as you can see. Oh, that rise. Rise? That rise? What? That's not English. That rose. The flower. Yep, that's it. What am I saying? Thought of a rose because, uh, you know, Lancashire. Would love to uh, go to the Rose Bowl someday. But anyways, Shikhar Dhawan with a lovely shot over cover. Oh, what a hit. Straight over the bowl is it. That'll be 14 of 7, so that's 200 striker all of a sudden he's going at. Yep. Next hit, gets lucky, that'll race away to the boundary for 4, yeah? 20 up for uh, that one. Looking alright so far. Yep. It's a smash into the cow corner, and that'll be 4. 24 of 13. Lancashire. Oh, what a hit from a fees over cover. This partnership's looking good, although they're going a bit slow from a lake, and particularly a fees. Needs to pick up the pace a bit. He's done well with that delivery. Lancashire have not lost a game so far, so they are the team to beat. They're undefeated, undisputed so far. As Shikha Levin flicks that one off his pads, will Wellington be the first team to defeat him? He's taking him on straight on. Shikha Levin. We'll pick up another boundary there. He's looking very good, isn't he? 33 of 18 he moves on to. That's a very good shot over Gully. One, two bounces and four runs. He'll collect 37 of 19. Oh, what a hit. Straight over the ball is that. That'll be four. 41 of 22 deliveries. Brilliantly done. Yep. Next hit. Wow. All right. No slips. No worries. That's four. Easy does it. <laughs> yep. Okay. There it is. Hafiz again. He's slowing down a bit, but uh, every now and again he plays a boundary. Ooh, that might be out. That is out. Just three runs short, Shikhar Dhawan. Oh, I feel bad for him, you know. But so close yet so far. Adil Rashid, the wily one strikes. It's his birthday today, by the way. He turns 33. So that tells you which day I recorded this video on. And that should tell you how far in advance I record these videos. 
Anyways, Shikhar Levin gone for 47 of 29 deliveries. 162.7 strike where he was going at King Coatley. Next man in. It's a lovely shot over cover. They've got a deep cover. One bounce and it lands safe. Although there might be in trouble. Yep, there's trouble in paradise. That's another wicket down. And it's VK as well. The big man himself is no more. Wellington Firebirds have a pretty decent side, don't they? But so do Lancashire, and uh, it's going to be a good encounter. Like I said, Lancashire so far undefeated. Will Firebirds be the ones to burn the lightning, or will lightning strike down the birds? Oh, that's out. That's the wrong one. He's not read that one at all. That's come off of the back of the hand, and... That's yet another wicket for Adil Rashid. I told you he's a wily one. He's such a trickster. Very difficult to play him. He's got so much variation. And Afiz, he just wasn't looking comfortable today. I mean, his strike rate tells the whole story. He was struggling big time. And it's kind of good, actually, that he's gone. Lovely flick from Suresh Raina. Uh oh, they're pushing for two, they're pushing for two, they might be in trouble, in fact they are in trouble, that's out, he's way out. It's not even close. It's a strong throw back. On the bounce as well, he's got him. Rashfiqo Rahim gone for five of eight. He's not done all that well in this uh, this league. Here in Poland, next man in. Oh, he's got him! It's Adil Rashid again. Told ya. Well, I keep saying Rashid. His name is actually Rashid, isn't it? Well, it's spelled Rashid. Rashid's with two E's, isn't it? R A S H E E D. But this is I D, which is Rashid, like Rashid Khan. So Rishrana has gone. That was a wrong one as well. Dinesh Karthik boy at behind the sticks takes the catch. And Wellington Firebirds are getting struck down by lightning. Elfan Patan, next man in. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. Short mid wicket for that reason he was there. And Adil Rashid gets another one. DJ Adil Rashid or Rashid, I keep saying Rashid. It's because the English call him Rashid, so I call him Rashid as well. I think it's Rashid. Well, it's spelled Rashid, like I said already. Anyways, Irfan Patan's gone for four of uh, three deliveries. And uh, that plan worked. Trap rather worked. Ravi Ashwin. Next man in. Ooh, spanked Rashid over. Uh, square leg. Uh, it's going for one bounce and four runs. Yep. Oh, what a hit. That'll be four. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I don't think you'll hear it because it was too quiet. Yep. Oh, what a hit. That's gone. That's nah, gone. Ashwin is a fairly decent batsman. We saw him score 100 against England in the test, so uh, he's got it. He's got the ability to spank a couple. There he goes again. And this time, even further, getting closer and closer to the boundary rope. Eventually, he'll get the six. Full toss. That's not going to cut it. That's four. That's easy pickings for Ashwin. So another boundary, 18 of uh, 9 he's on now, 200 strike what he's going at. It's a good comeback of the game, but they still need to score a few more runs, and Kieran Pollard and Ashwin will make sure of that. That's a 424 of 17, Pollard is on now, the Caribbean beast. He's doing all right, isn't he? A smash. Between the two fielders, onto the rope, four runs, 26 of 13. 200 striker he's at again. Next hit, that's the end.
Ashwin put up a fight, but all good things must come to an end. And it's Dale Stain as well, the absolute legendary pacer from South Africa. The Proteus International gets an important wicket here. Important wicket of uh, Ashwin, who was looking like he was going to take the game away from Lancashire. But the Lightning, yet again, have struck the Firebird known as Ashwin down. 26 of 16, a very good innings comes to an end. And it's Mitch Stark, Mitchell Stark, who comes in next. Ooh, way too wide. Made the most of that, the beast. Gonna pick up a couple, maybe even three actually. Well, that's quite easy. Oh, they're pushing four. No, that's not. Oh, he's made it back. That is brilliant. That is very good running between the wickets. Yep. Way too wide, that's four. 149 they move on to now. Got a decent total on the board. Ooh, looks fairly close. I don't think it'll be given out. Let's see. Took a run there. Might have hit it with a bat because it was quite close to the bat as well. Let's see. Are they going to review it? I mean, why not? It's worth it. Probably going to be umpire's call, in which case you don't lose the review. Yeah, it's either out or it's either umpire's call. So, yeah, well, it's in line, so it's out. It's going on to hit the middle stump. That's the only trouble with this game is that it's umpire's call way too often. That's out. There it is. Wakanda style. He has revert his decision. And Kieran Pollard is gone for 33 of 21. Good innings comes to an end. Stephen Finn next to man in. It's a good shot, but... Uh, Straight to the field, they might pick up two. Oh, direct hit, I think he's safe. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Oh, that's so close. I think he might be safe. No, he's gone, I think. It's on the line. Yeah, the bat is on the line, he's gone. Oh, to the U, to the T. Stephen Finn is no more. And Boyd Rankin, the Irishman, comes in next. Yeah. Flicked it. I think it's in the gap. First run of the day for uh, Mitch. Yep. And it's off a boundary nonetheless. Yes. Oh, it's a good shot straight over the bowl as Ed. It's going to be five runs for Boyd Rankin, and that right there is the end of their innings. A fairly decent total put on the board now. Let's see how well Lancashire Lightning will do. Like I kept saying in the last encounter they had, the Lancashire batsmen get very lucky because of their good bowling. Their batters don't have to bat all that well, and if you look at the innings, uh, pretty much all the innings so far from Lancashire, They've not been up to par. They've been very much below par. And uh, now they've got a good total to chase down. Will they be able to chase this down? I think this is the first real test of the Lightning. Here we go. Mitch Stark. My favorite left-arm bowler. To open a bowling. Martin Guptill, the Kiwi. To face the first delivery. That's a very close one. Is the umpire going to give it? Nope, he's not. That's definitely out. Come on. Yeah! You've got to give that one out. You've got to give that one. He has given it. A wicket for Starkey Boy. First up. Martin Guptill going for a duck. And this is what I was talking about. Their batting is not up to par. Their bowling, though, is spectacular. That's a lovely shot over Meroff, and that'll be four from Tammy Mekbal. Tammy Mekbal normally opens, but uh, well, he got out so early, it's pretty much opening. Goes over Meroff again, Tammy. That'll be another boundary, eight of three. Yep. 
Next hit. Oh, no first slip. That'll be four. Yep, yep. Between the slips. Stammy Metball keeps getting lucky. Yep. There it is. Off the mark. Didn't get much of a chance to uh, play, just got that one delivery. The second delivery smashed it. Oh, off the opposite end of the blade and the fielder there, short cover. I think it's Verat, yes it is, he's taking a lovely catch. It might be Hafiz actually. Well, let's see, is it Verat or Hafiz? They look very similar with their beards. It's, uh, it's Verat, it's VK, it's number 18. Look at that, a wonderful catch. Sami Merkbal gone for 16 of 10. That's another wicket down. Lester Cook, next man in. That's a very good shot from Cook. Gordon Ramsay off the mark. First delivery, bang, four runs. David Warner flicks that one over point. And that's four runs. Now, uh, one thing I'll have to say about Lancashire uh, batting order is David Warner is the only constant there. Yep, gotcha. A flighted delivery, tossed it up there. And David Warner picked it up well. Oh, that's very well fielded. I thought he might not be able to cut it off, but he has done really well. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. a good shot over cover. A Lester Cook. Gets four runs. Nine runs of three deliveries. Yep. Just flick off his pads. Classy as ever. Lester Cook. Yep. Warner goes straight over the bowler, Zed. And I have no doubt he'll find the rope with ease, just as he's done many a times in this game alone. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. It's a very good shot from Warney. It's going to be four runs. 21 of 14 from David Warner. Oh, yeah. late movement and does. David Warner, that was a scrambled seam, it's moved away, yeah, that's the one that's difficult to pick up. Which way it'll turn, even the bowler sometimes doesn't know which way it'll turn, and it's worked in this case, Boyd Rankin gets, I'd say the biggest wicket on their side, David Warner. Dennis Karthik comes in next. Oopsie, he's gone. Just one run scored and the second delivery he's faced. Well, he's gone. He's tried to play a delivery that was on the leg stump on the offside. How do you play that? Well, you can't. There, there's a fine example of it. If you try, what will happen? The Chicago had gone for one of two deliveries. Mohamed Nabi comes in next. And there it is. See, now he had room so he could play it on the offside over gully, over the slips, cut it, scoop it, whatever you want to call it. Yep. Catch him! Well played into extra cover. The game is on. The game's very much on. Yep. Ooh, leg glance at turds. Fielder coming under it. Fielder coming under it. Oh, he's dropped it! Oh, no! That's a massive letdown. It's a Lester Cook. It's the legend. You do not drop him. You do not give him a chance. Look at that. It's VK as well, the skipper himself. He's gone straight over Miron. That'll be four. He's going to make you pay for that mistake. It's a massive mistake. Two run, three runs there. Yep. That's a good hook. Got a couple of fielders on the rope there. 
Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no, that's out, that's out. Come on, what are you doing? What are you thinking, mate? Yeah! That's just unbelievable. Foolish running, absolutely stupid. No need for that. In a situation like this as well, I mean, come on, man, you need to be very careful. Can't just throw your wicket away like that. All right, Carlos Brathwaite, remember the name. There it is, and that's why you need to remember the name. He's an absolute brute. Belligerence is uncanny. Ah, what a catch by Mush behind the sticks. That's the end of Alesta Cook. It's another wicket down. It's Irfan Patan who strikes this time. And um, Wellington might be well in through this game. Oh, okay, well, I tried. Whatever. <laughs> It's a lovely catch from Bush, though. Lester Cook scores 33 of 24. It's good innings, decent innings. Chris Wokes, he can bat, he definitely can bat. Ooh, well, that's another wicket down, and that's what I've been saying this whole time. Lancashire, oh, they're undefeated, but they're undefeated due to their bowling, not their batting. And their weak batting lineup has been exposed here yet again. I mean, they might end up winning this game. It's still not over, obviously not. But it's not looking too good. They've lost their seventh wicket. The thing about their batting is, though, they haven't done too well, but they've got a lot of all-rounders as well. He's taking him on straight on. Philander can bat a bit as well. This is what I'm saying. You know, they have a bit of depth. Carlos Brathwood, well, we know what he's capable of. Defying all odds on all sorts of venues. And he's done it against England. Now he's doing it for England. Yep. Oh, Nicky McNickerson. That'll be four. Where did that come from? <laughs> 12 runs needed and over. That'll help. That'll definitely help. 36 required now in 19. That's more like it. A couple more of those and they're in. Oh, spinners are dangerous. You have to be careful against spinners. Oh, that's nearly carried. Might be a run out. That's a very strong throw back. That's so close. It might be the end. It might be the end of the batsman. That's it. Gone. See, they have got depth. But still, they're unable to make an impact. Dale Stain, next man in. What can he do? Oh, that's a good shot. That's a very good shot. Four runs. That's welcomed runs for Lancashire. There he goes again. The game is on. Brathwaite is like, as long as I'm here, it's not over. Oh, well, that is the end of Carlos Brathwaite. Mitch Sark with his pace and extra bounce, producing that wicket of the big man himself, Carlos Brathwaite. Now they're on their last leg. They've got Adil Rashid coming in next, who can bat a bit. We have seen him whack the ball hard. Obviously, he's, not, he's a tail ender, so we cannot expect too much from him. But he does know how to swing his bat, that's for sure. Will he be able to do something special here? Well, here's hoping for Lancashire's sake. There he goes. Good shot. That's one run, so 19 and 7. Oh, swing and a miss. A 
fees to bowl the final over. He, he was very economical in the first one, but I don't know if I would trust him with the final over. He's played that one into the gap. I don't think he's played it well enough to beat the fielder through the rope, but he'll come back for second, and that's good. That's good enough. All right, good start to the game. To the over, I mean, 17. Of five deliveries. Last wicket, though, that's the trouble there. They cannot make any mistakes. There's the mistake. Is he going to take it? He's taking yeah. it. That's it. That's the end of the game. He's got him. Mohamed Hafiz proving me wrong. He is very much capable of finishing the innings off. And there it is. Mishfiqur Rahim didn't see the ball at first, but then realized the ball is still on. It's not landed yet. He can still get the wicket, and he runs back. Takes the catch low down to the ground. Hafiz gets the final wicket. Wellington Firebirds are blazing away. Got two points on their side. And there it is, first loss for Lancashire. It has come through Wellington. Al Rashid gets them out of the match. Al Rashid have entered the top three wicket takers. And uh, Mohamed Nabi is still at the top. Look at that, this is what I'm talking about. Their bowling is so good, the two top wicket takers are both from Lancashire. Here are the highest run scorers. And uh, Dula Manu, do you think is going to be the highest wicket taker by the end of this? Who's going to be the highest run scorer? And here is the table. Now, Central Stags, James's side remains the only undefeated side. Congratulations to Parav, by the way, the coach of uh, Wellington. Dula Manu, who do you think is going to finish top four? Remember, each team plays seven games total. So some of the teams already have played more than half their allotted matches. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice.